that's not what this is about. I, I'm not saying I've never had a relationship in the past. Yeah, yeah, I've known about a couple. This is so different. I would never do anything to hurt Ryan. I will make damn sure of that. Mr. Fnug. Rick, this discussion is over. You are to stay away from Ryan. Mr. Policeman, that is an order. You're making the same mistake I made. I tried to stay away from her. Believe me, I really tried. I thought that maybe her feelings would change about me. Maybe my feelings would change about her. Nothing happened. Give it time. It wouldn't... It's not going to work. That's why I'm being honest with you. That's why I'm, I'm here talking to you, so we can work something out. Honest? You're being honest? You want honest, is that it? Okay, okay, I will be honest with you, all right? What Ryan has is a schoolgirl crush. It happens to every teenage girl and every teenage boy, but it never lasts. Believe me, she will get over you as quickly as she got over Bruce Springsteen. This is not a crush, I'm telling you. And she's not a kid. She's 16 years old. In my book, that's a kid. She's your daughter. Fathers oftentimes have a problem realizing when their daughters are growing now up. Now you're an expert about fathers, huh? No, but I know Ryan, and I know you're headed for trouble. No, no, kid, you're headed for trouble. She has a mind of her own. You and I both know that. You start making rules telling her how to feel, you're going to lose all the respect you have for her. Don't lecture me. I'm not lecturing you. I'm telling you facts. Facts. Facts are you're too old for her. She's got a lot of growing up to do. Then why don't you give her some space? Let her make some decisions on her own. Because I do not want to see her get hurt. You're the one that's going to get hurt. You're going to force her to choose between you and me. I don't want that to happen. That's not going to be fair for anybody. I am not going to force her to choose anything. Yes, sir, you are. You're going to lay down a law, and she is going to break it. All right? All right. You can see her at Ryan's, at the hospital, passing in the street, but not alone. No dates, no dinners, no movies. I do not want you alone with my daughter till she graduates high school. Maybe not even then. But what if you and I... No ifs, ands, and buts about it. If you cannot play by the rules, then you do not play at all. You got that? All right. All right! Come on in. Jillian, where would they get an idea like that? Well, they say that they found it in your bag. That's impossible. No. Unless I was framed. Framed? <laughs> Why would the police want to frame you? I don't know, but those girls down at the station house, they said that they were framed. Oh. <laughs> well, the police are real careful about that sort of thing. Jillian, listen to me. I don't have any marijuana. I don't like marijuana. I have never used marijuana. <laughs> I'm into natural medicine. Oh. Like, like hemp and licorice. Hemp? Uh-huh. Hemp is marijuana. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you telling me that you really didn't know that? I have been using hemp to make poultice with. Poultice? Uh-huh. Oh, well, whatever you use it for, it's illegal. You think they're going to put me in jail? Well, not if I can convince the judge that you didn't know what it was. You think they'll believe you were me? <laughs> well, whether they do or not, it's your first offense, so I'll probably get you off on probation and a fine. How much do you think a fine would be? Well, let's see, probably several hundred dollars. Um, you don't, you don't have any money, huh? No, I... I was only trying to help Dakota. It was my herbs that cured him. Do you think that you could tell the judge that? The judge about the er oh yeah about the herbs yeah oh I'll I'll tell him that if you tell me something how long have you known Dakota a long time <laughs> well I mean where did you meet how do you know each other back in Tennessee oh well do you mind telling me about it well it's it's not very interesting <laughs> were you lovers. <laughs> <laughs> No, ma'am. We were just friends. If 
if your friend's in trouble, you help him. That's how I was raised. Oh. Well, who's going to help you? Oh, I'll be all right. The Lord will show me the way. Um, what, did you have a place to stay? I don't want to be any bother to you. Um, I appreciate everything that you've done for me. You, you don't have a place, do you? Well, no, not really, but I can find a place. Oh, yeah? Like where? Well, I haven't decided yet. Uh-huh. Okay, um, let me think for a second. All right, I know this sounds very strange, but uh, this is a big house, and, um, well, why don't you stay here? Me stay here? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure my mama wouldn't mind, and it is a big place. Oh, no, Julia. Uh, mama? Uh, huh? no. Oh, Maggie, Maggie, come here. Hi, come here. Julia. Uh, oh, this is Melinda. This is our new house guest. <laughs> <laughs> 